For the box drape, you'll need a Sharpie or a good pen. You'll need a cutting knife, some duct tape, a ruler, and a used priority mail box or Federal Express box. And you'll actually need some additional cardboard. So if you have two, that's ideal. Measure halfway. and mark a center line on the front. And on the back. Also, make a center line on the side of the box. On both sides. Carefully Cut your box down the sides. For the moment, I'm just leaving this little bit together. And cut the flap. Now I have a box that opens like so. Also cutting the flap on the inside as well. Be careful. Now it opens up. So, join the line for where the front and the back bends are. And then about every half, three quarters of an inch, I'm going to retract the pen and just using the edge, I'm denting the box. This will, this is known as scoring, and it'll allow you to bend the box in increments. So I've drawn a line, uh, leaving about the center third, and very carefully going to cut through only one thickness of cardboard. And then, oh, pull this back up. Zip, zip. And now that I pulled it up, I'm going to cut here and here, which will allow me to pull that piece up too. And now I'm going to bend along those creases. To make a slightly rounded form. So I'm using the blunt end of a scissor. You can use a pen. Just not sharp. I don't want to cut it. I'm denting the cardboard so that I can bend it in, in increments and end up with something basically like this. So I tuck the flaps down and now you can see I've got an arch here and enough space. And now we're going to cut a piece that will give us this arch and this edge. Okay. So here's the basic shape and the bottom will be approximately 8 inches wide. I'm adding a one inch seam allowance. A half is fine. It's a little easier to tape with one inch. This part, I'm making little tabs There we go. I'm cutting around these tabs. And now I'm cutting in
like so. Uh, I'm going to score it. And then I'm going to score it around the curve. Again, not cutting through. You can use, like you said, a pen. And now these tabs bend in. Like so. So I'm going to even this off to make this. Stand up like that and I'm going to measure to the middle and make a center line. You can use the inside or the outside of the box or even a different box. You don't want to use anything that's too thick because it'll make it tough to put pins in. I'm using a box that does not have somebody else's personal information on it. I made sure that I cut away my little tabs. These do not have to be exactly even, but it's always good practice to make the same pieces for either side. Again, I'm going to measure and put a center line in. Cut out here. So again, we're scoring. Scoring. Not cutting. Going to remove the upper tabs. And then we'll be joining it on to here. Um, tape on there. tape onto here. So now I'm going to put tape on the inside as well. And on the other side. Remove this tab down here so that I can fold the box easily. And it may not be perfectly even. So, the idea is we want to have a curve on the top and a flat side. And we will draw the center line over any tape that we need to. If your box is cut, with a, there's a slight variation here, this isn't 90 degrees, then what you want to do is move it to the opposite side for the other side. And tape here. 
So you're going to have to reinforce all the seams with a lot of tape. Inside and out. And then up top here, we're just going to put a little piece of tape around the neck. Okay. Okay. And the only other thing to do is if you carefully cut a little hole, so what I'd like to do is stuff this with some newspaper or something so there's a little bit of a bend to it. Just so there's a little bit of additional form, a little form here. And if you cut these little slots, you can make a handle for carrying your supplies in. Or your IM. So the last thing you'll do is after you have all your tape on and you push all the sides together is you'll again draw your side seam or the center of the side line and if you have any tape covering it you'll put your center line back on and this is what we're going to do the tuck drape on.